What is going on YouTube? My name is Ray and you already know I'll be taking x-rays. A very special, hey there, <laughs> to all my 500, 500 zero, zero subscribers. Yes, I'm in the 500 club, baby. Currently, I'm actually at 700 subs. Just goes to show you how busy I've been. I actually got an email back in um, March 29th and today is, um, I don't even know what today is anymore, man. It's uh, uh, April 8th. So I've been meaning to make this, my apologies. So shout out to all my 700 subs and future subs. I appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the love and support. I don't wanna get all emotional yet until after the video. So, so I'm gonna save how much y'all mean to me at the end of the video. But I felt like I needed to hop on here and uh, connect with you guys because it's been a while. It's, it's, been, it's been like three months since my first video about a month or so from my last talking head video. I hope you all enjoyed my positioning videos thus far. I really thought that the two camera angles was very innovative, especially in uh, our community, because there was always just that one point of view, that one camera angle in uh, the tutorial videos, right? Like I mentioned. And it was never a point of view that I found uh, of great value because a third person point of view is more of a observation angle. Because when I was a student, I wanted to know what the tech was looking at, what they were thinking, so that I can make notes and um, see if they could work for me. So I hope you all found them of great value. If you did, press that like button. I was really excited to do that for you all. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions on future videos that I should do, um, on anything else that can make these videos uh, of more value to you, leave a comment down below. I've been getting inquiries about the hip, the pelvis, so that will be next, cross table laterals. I've been wanting to do that. I will also be using a higher resolution uh, point of view camera, uh, 4K baby. Um, so that will be addressed. Unfortunately, the positioning videos will be postponed for now because of my model, my intern, Jerry. Shout out to Jerry, man. Um, he's not able to come to clinic because of what we got going on right now. Such a great guy. These videos wouldn't be what they are without him, obviously. He volunteered. I didn't force him. I didn't haze him or anything. <laughs> he volunteered his time because he knew what it would mean for y'all out there and that it was for a good cause so again shout out to you man and uh donna donna my freshman i see great things in your future i can't believe you're a freshman uh, just her knowledge, just her assertiveness. You're gonna go far, trust me. Being in the medical field since 2010 as a uh, patient transporter and then now a registered tech, um, you just know, you know? If any techs are watching out there and you know what I mean, chime in down below. But I've seen so many techs out there, so many students, so many characters, attributes that make a successful tech, that make a lazy tech. So you just know when someone got it. And uh, both of you, Y'all are gonna go far, trust me. And I can say that for a lot of you too that are watching right now, because you wouldn't be here if you weren't inspired, if you weren't motivated to get that upper hand, to get the extra step on the competition, on the program, on life. So if you're watching right now, I just wanna let you know, as I always let you know, is that you have greatness within you. You are on the right path. That's why you're watching videos like this. Well, not exactly like this video, but you get what I mean, and I am so excited for you. And I am so excited for you. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I know, times are tough right now. You're anxious because of the uncertainty of the year, but just remember this too shall pass. We don't know when, nobody knows, but eventually, and um, you know, history would tell you, just look it up. But during this time, since we have so much time and we have no control of it, find the positives. This is not a setback, but a setup. It's a setup for you to use this time to work on things that need extra attention. Maybe your weaknesses in the program, physics, math, brush up on some positioning with my videos. <laughs> but then not only that, work on yourself, work on life. I'm reading this book right now, The Energy Codes. Oh man, it's, it's so amazing. Um, it's really helping me on my spiritual journey in life. And uh, I definitely recommend it um, since we do have all this time. Um, <laughs> 
this is not a paid uh this is not a paid ad right because you always see it but um audible man uh sign up for audible your first book is free and this is the very first book that i did that i used it on and um you know because I, I commute to work and i just listening to it and it's just helping me boss my level up man and um if you're reading it if you read it um, please connect with me. I would love to, to chat with you guys about that. But one thing I don't want you to do is look back after all this time off in the future and look back and, and think that, uh, man, dude, I didn't do can, can I say that? Okay, cool. You didn't do anything that added value to your life. Yes, you absolutely deserve some rest. Catch up on some Netflix, but not every day. What is that gonna do for your future? Congratulations. You caught up on the newest series of Ozark. You got caught up with the, the Tiger King, right? But how is that gonna benefit your future? You can do so much more. There's always something to do. Invest in stocks. Formulate a game plan to, uh, to fix your credit. Um, game plan for your future after the program. There's so much more. And definitely use this time to spend with your family because if you were in the program right now, that is time that you did not have. So cherish it, embrace the moment. The easiest thing you can do is nothing, is be lazy, quit. Don't do it, fight it. You got this far, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't let what you worked so hard for go to waste. And that's a great transition because um, I didn't know what I was gonna do after I achieved my goal, after I achieved my dreams. After I reached my goal of becoming a registered technologist and started working. What was life after I started working and got into my work routine? I didn't know. I got so caught up getting there that I didn't know what to do after. I'm not going to get into the details of what my options were, but they all consisted of more schooling, more experience, more time. And I just had so much momentum from, you know, getting into the program, um, at the, the, the milestones in the program graduating, uh, finally working, that I just wanted to keep on going, keep the momentum going. I wanted more. And so there I was for, uh, for a good month or two. I felt like I hit a wall. Um, it's not because I didn't enjoy what I do. I love what I do. However, I felt like I can do so much more. I wanted to do so much more. And I wanted to do it now, not later. Just like that saying, do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking it. And that's when I thought about starting a YouTube channel, starting all this. A lot of successful people out there are entrepreneurs and the successful happy ones are the ones that are doing what they have a passion for. A lot of them also help solve a problem that we encounter in life. Well, I have a passion for what I do in my career and as a student, I felt a problem was that there was not enough or too little of information out there in radiology. There was always an abundance of material on nurses and doctors, but very little on radiology. And if there was, as I said, it was very outdated or it wasn't it wasn't very well put together or at least up to my standards. So that's when a, a vision came to me. Basically, it was a seed that just kept on growing and growing. My creative juices were flowing. I did my research on how to uh, create a successful YouTube channel. And I knew that with my, uh, my charisma, my personality, and vision that I could make something, uh, something unique. But being so foreign to me, you know, I was scared. I was scared of not being successful for what people would think. But as I learned, you just gotta start. A journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. You're never gonna be as ready as you wanna be. You just have to start. And uh, one more, fear is false evidence of being real. And now, here we are today. As my vision became real, as I finally uh, created my YouTube account with no videos back in November, I jokingly made a, uh, a goal of at least one sub this year. I'm an optimistic and positive person, but boy, did I not know what I was getting myself into. You just don't know sometimes, but it felt right. And so, I made my first video. Three months later, I'm at 707 climbing. And I am so grateful and so humble. One thing I wasn't aware of uh, starting my own channel was the, uh, the responsibility I have to you, my subscribers, my community. <laughs> man, that's so deep, man, that's crazy. I knew I wanted to help, but to actually connect with you all in the comments, reading how 
I inspire you in your life to help make your decisions, to help guide you in your journey, and to know that I helped you in some type of way in achieving your dreams and your goals is so amazing to me. I didn't realize it then, but having subs on YouTube, man, is, is so much more substantial and so much more meaningful than, uh, you know, followers or friends, whatever, on Facebook or Instagram. You believe in me and my material that I'm teaching you. You just don't want to be my friend to look at my pictures and like them. <laughs> By the way, I made an Instagram for X-Ray so we can connect on there. I didn't want to mix, uh, you know, X-Ray on my personal account just because that would just be too much. Um, I just wanted to separate the two. But you can add me there if you want. That way we can message each other and, uh, you know, kind of uh, spend more quality time uh, connecting and messages. But yeah, um, I appreciate you all so much. Uh, from the bottom of my heart and um, I promise to answer all your questions to the best of my knowledge give you the best tutorials that I can to help you get your sign offs offer you the best tips on your journey to uh, to get through the program and all I ask is from you to like my videos and uh, subscribe if you haven't already I'll explain later if you don't understand how that helps both of us and if you stay this far to the end of the video you are the real MVP and I did say there was a giveaway, right? So this is my personal gift from me to you for all your support. I'm giving away a full set of Fit Scrubs to a random sub once I hit that 1,000 subscribers mark. I'll post a link to the website somewhere down below. But it's what I personally wear. They're not paying me for this. I'm actually gonna use my own personal money to pay for whatever size and whatever color you like. I just really love how I feel in them. Um, it makes me perform to the best of my abilities throughout the day, and I really want you to feel how I feel throughout the day or throughout my shift. I personally only try the, the generic uh, surgery scrubs, uh, Medline, UA, and of course, figs. Actually, before I found out about fit scrubs, I did wear figs as a student. They were fashionable, they looked nice. However, personally, they weren't up to my standards. They weren't as functional as I would want uh, some scrubs are gonna be working, you know, eight hour, 10 hour, 12 hour shifts. They look good and fit good. However, um, they didn't stretch, they weren't breathable, they weren't antimicrobial, all the things that fit scrubs did. I even posted a video way back when of when I first tried it on. Arthur, the uh, the owner over there, man, shout out to you. He posted me on his account and um, the rest was history. It fits good. Oh, it breathes. Oh, it moves with you. It's stretchy. Okay, dance moves. My name is Ray. I'ma take your X-rays. They're basically a uh, Nike dry fit that you can wear to work to sum it all up. Just go to the website, check them out, and also use my code X-ray Ray for 15% off if you want to uh, purchase your own right now. So I don't like getting into subscriber count because you get people out there thinking that, you know, I'm not passionate about my channel, that I'm in it for the wrong reasons. But I'm hoping by now you can see how authentic and legit I am about what I do. And when you think of it, we're helping each other out. The more subs I get, the more I can do with my channel and provide you with better content. And the more subs, the more people and students out there are educated. Meaning more quality than lazy text you have to work with, less text you have to show how to do their job, less people to correct when they call you a technician and a higher passing rate for you programs out there. In all seriousness, more quality techs in general in the field. We've all seen it. It makes me feel some type of way when I see a registered technologist not care about their work and or their patient. That could be my family. That could be your family. Anyways, uh, you know, I can go on with so much more, but if you made it this far, we need more people like you that are passionate about the career, passionate about the field, and I can't wait till you make your first official exposure and help me save lives with the rest of the radiology and medical family. In the meantime, we'll get through this like a champ. The difference between an amateur and a champ is a champion is willing to push past the pain period. And guess what? You're a champ. You have greatness within you. I'll see you at the top. You already know 
My name is Ray, and I'll be taking x-rays. I love, baby. Peace.